can't believe what I've just seen. Yes, my people, how's it going? It's your boy Jay checking in with Chelsea Fans TV. As you can see, we are here live at the London Stadium for West Ham versus Chelsea. You know how important this game is for us. So I don't even need to do an intro for this. If you enjoyed this vlog, well, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more. Come on the blues. One Chelsea! Took about 10 minutes for our first concrete chance, and of course, it's Reese James. 20 minutes in, Jorginho in the book. Great. Honestly, just been a very scrappy game. Nothing really to speak about. We've had most of the ball, we've done nothing with it. Antonio's done a chance, plays it over. But yeah, man, it's just a scrappy, scrappy game. Come on. Good delivery on the head. Ooh, it's another corner. Come on. Good delivery. Nothing you can do. You can kick it out straight away, but come on, Mendy, you can be a hero here. Come on! Come on! Fuck you! You cunt! Big, big, big second half coming now, man. Fuck, say. That's a 
That's a great ball. What a goal! An amazing ball by Ziyech. It looked like the chance was gone. Mason just waiting for it to fall. What a shot! I think it was Mason. I'm sorry if it's not the ball to Mason. But I'm pretty sure it was. Waiting for the ball to drop. What a finish! I said we needed half time bad. But I think West Ham need it now. Because that was completely against him on the play. What a goal! Chelsea! Oh, no! No, no, no! Chelsea! Chelsea! Right, so half time and somehow just about we've come out on top. Now I don't say that because I think West Ham have been good, but that last like five, ten minute flurry after they scored, they did look the better team. And then we scored. And that is Chelsea. That is the Chelsea that I know. We looked boss for 40 minutes. We were shaky for about 5-10. But the main thing that matters right now is we're winning this game. I didn't really see what happened in Mendy and I don't know why. He didn't clear the ball. I don't know if he didn't have an option or if the pass back was just really bad. So I don't want to comment too much on that. But at the end of the day, we are winning. We looked great. Um, we just haven't been taking chances. We haven't been convincing or decisive, which just seems to be us at the moment. I don't know why. We get do this amazing build-up play, get into the box or get close to the box and just don't seem to have that cutting edge. And obviously it's hurt us in games like Burnley and games like United. But so far, we have scored twice today. I do feel like we have a couple more goals in us, and I'm hoping there are a couple more goals at the right end and we get the three points. Because we know at the top of the table right now, it is tight. If there's any game we need to win, it's this one. So yeah, up the Blues. All right, so the players are out for the second half, and Big Rob is coming on. I think it's Habits. He was, looked like he was injured at the end of the first half. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So it's Habits coming off. Big Romelu coming on. 2-1 up. Come on, Chels. Come on, Rudy! Oh! The decision making is so horrible at times. Rudy's just run, what, 40 yards of the pitch. Could have played it to Romelu and he gives it to Ziyech, who first times it and scuffs it. Oh, man. Like that. It's level. Jaron fucking Bowen. Fuck's sake. Come on, Mace! Oh! This is so frustrating because we're just so slow when we get in goal scoring opportunities, man. Just not doing anything with it. I feel like Tuchel is probably feeling the same as us and he's just tired of Ziyech not creating enough. So he's going hard to the door, who's more direct to gonna run at players and try and drive it into the box instead of just laying it into the box. So I hope this is gonna work. All right, big rum driving at the box. Come on! Okay. Come on! Oh come on, that's a great ball! Oh Rudy just played a great football to Lukaku, who just couldn't catch on. 20 minutes to go. Pulisic is on, he took off Alonso, so unfortunately it means he's pushed Callum to left wing back. But we've got to win the game, we've got to take these risks. Oh my God, Callum. Come on! Callum, cut inside! Please! Oh! Oh! It's a corner! That's not a corner, man. Eight minutes left to find something, man. Fuck. I can't believe what I've just seen. I can't believe what I've just seen. No, 
Marco Rocky uses his mid-hit across and it's gone in. I cannot believe it. I don't want to believe it. I can't believe it. I have, I have no words. Looking like we were going to steal the three points. So now it's looking like we're lucky if we get one. Fucking unreal. Fucking unreal. Four minutes of added time, but I can't lie, man. We shouldn't be trying to rescue a point against West Ham. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Well, as you can see, I'm in a slightly different environment compared to what I just was about 20 minutes ago. But I'm going to keep this outro short and sweet. We lost that game due to several individual errors on the pitch. Now, credit where credit is due, West Ham are certainly better than the team that we would usually roll over a couple seasons ago however I don't think we were that bad that we should have conceded three goals today but I think the less said the better if you have enjoyed this vlog which I mean if you're a Chelsea fan I don't know how you've enjoyed this vlog but if you have enjoyed this vlog and want to see more vlogs like this make sure to drop a like down below if you're new to the channel of course hit the subscribe button and yeah as hard it is for me to say up the Chelsea and we'll see you in the next video What's going on guys? Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. Make sure you're keeping things fresh this autumn with the leaders in male grooming and their brand new fourth generation performance package. Join over 2 million worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer to you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping when you click the link in the description. So what's so great about the Lawn Mower 4.0? Well, let's get straight into it. The Lawn Mower 4.0 comes with a range of different features. The first one is a new multifunction on and off switch and a travel lock as well. So you're able to take it wherever you are if you're traveling across the country. If you're even traveling on a plane as well, it's perfect for you to take on vacation with. It also comes with the ability to turn the LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. Whether you're shaving in the dark, whether you're shaving in the light, Manscaped's got you. The new trimmer also comes with a range of different lengths that will allow you to trim all over your body with additional guard lengths to protect you as well. And it also comes with a very fancy sleek look. It comes with a two-tone matte and gloss finish and even features a hot foil stamp black chrome Manscaped logo, which is very fancy if I do say so myself. It also comes with its own wireless charging system, which uses electromagnetic induction, which can help battery length last longer. Again, very fancy. Manscaped is coming through correct for you guys. Alongside the new Lawn Mower 4.0, Manscaped has also come with a brand new performance package. And inside this, you'll find the new Lawn Mower 4.0, obviously, like it's literally just been what we've been talking about, and the Crop Preserver, the Crop Revolver, very comfy boxer shorts, like I'm telling you as well, they're my favorite boxer shorts as well, the most comfortable thing going and a travel bag for you to carry all of this with you as well, wherever you guys may be going to. And because Manscaped care about everybody that watches Chelsea Fan TV as well, they are giving a huge 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code BFTV at checkout. That's again, BFTV at checkout. So guys, what are you waiting for? Head over to manscaped.com and get your fresh Manscaped razors today.